Ohio basketball had a big lead, lost that lead, got it back and held on at the end to improve to 2-1 and one on the season with the 76-72 win of the Valparaiso Crusaders on Sunday at the Convocation Center. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Welcome to our broadcast position at the Roundhouse on Richland where Ohio did have that big lead. It was 16 at one point. Valparaiso played very hard, got that lead down the wire, but Ohio did enough to win the ball game to improve to 2-1. and one. Yeah, 24-7 run down the stretch for Valpo as Ohio really stopped shooting, stopped hitting threes, didn't make their free throws. Valpo did exactly the opposite and got this thing to a Valpo lead late in the game, but Ohio closed strong, 7-2 to end this. Yeah, and there was a run there that you pointed out on the broadcast that Ohio went 7 minutes and 11 seconds at the end of the ball game and didn't hit a field goal. Combine that with a little bit of subpar for their standards, three-point shooting and free-throw shooting, and for Ohio to still win the ball game, that says a lot. Yeah, great defensive effort for Saf. You turn this Valpo team over 19 times in the game, the bulk of those in the first half, and in this era where, you know, the different officiating, the whistles dictating the turnovers, you expect turnover counts to be down, a 20-turnover game is almost unheard of. Maurice Endor, 23 points, but the biggest part of his stat line was how many shots he blocked, how many he altered, and how many balls he came up with, the steals, five blocks, four steals. He had a great game. Yeah, big block at the end of this game to clear what should have been an easy layup by Valpo at the end of it, but he and John Smith, game changers on defense, and let your guards, let your perimeter guys maybe make an occasional mistake, knowing there's a cleaner over your shoulder to fix the problem. Ohio at four in double figures, but you found something with T.J. Hall. Valuable minutes off the bench. No, you know, you, see, you have a senior, needs to step up, and he certainly did, and it's good. It's like found money to get those points from an amorphous place. You knew you had to get them coming into the season where you started so many new faces. Yeah, and there was a toughness there from John Smith as well. I think Endor's ability is pushing John a little bit too. Big to big passing was big. A lot of good elements of this ball game. 76-72 was the final. Here's how it looked and sounded at the convo. Now back to the top, Hall raises, fires, and buries a three. On cue, fires up a triple and banged it down. 12-6, Ohio on top. Right wing, it's Hall. Back up to the top, and Taylor. Left side to Kellogg for Ohio. Going to shoot from three. Bang. <laughs> Gay at the top, back over to the left side, Doherty. Said he flashes on a double. Doherty stripped by Endor, picked up by Endor. Endor runs all the way to the goal for a right hand launch. The nature boy can get up and stuff it down. Coleman tried to get into the post of Fernandez from behind the right side, but it just lost the handle. It's picked up by Endor for Ohio. Johnson left of the paint, banked it up and in. Behind the right side, Johnson got in there, stripped the ball away, running four on three. Euro stick to the goal. Laid it in. Steel throw on a pretty little step for a finger roll, and Ohio's lead is 11. Across the floor now, it's Williams. Back over to the right side. Hounded by Stevie Taylor, who gets into a big-time defensive stance. And Taylor stripped the ball. That's what happens when you do that. Taylor on a run out to the goal layup, yes. Just a couple of times in the first half, and down by a dozen at halftime, down four now. Hall at the top to Setti, left elbow. Now he no looks, a pass to Kellogg, pocket right three, bang! 12 of 32 from the field, Ohio 17 of 39. Valpo up on the boards, 27-19. Williams into the post, flew it up there, but he's blocked by John Smith, out of bounds. In between the circles now. At the top, it's Hall. Throws it to Endor. Drives on Gay. Gay stays with him. Hand off Hall. Cutting to the rack. Missed the shot. Now a follow and a finish for Tony Campbell. Counted and a foul. Now to Kellogg straight on. Holds it on his right hip. Long bounce to Endor. Nobody closed and he stuffed it down with the right hand. A dunk for Endor. Fires hit it. Three point lead. 75 72. Little token pressure in the backcourt, now they slough off. 22 seconds left as Valparaiso crosses the center line. At the top, it's Doherty on a bounce over to the right wing. 17, now 16, Coleman corner right. Now to Doherty high on the right side. Going to drive all the way in, shot blocked out of bounds by Maurice Endor, and he pounds his chest. 7-11, Johnson the line, missed the free throw, rebound. Coleman just heaves it down the floor, and that's the end of the ball game. Ohio University basketball is 2-1 to start off the year. So Ohio wins it by four. The Cats are 2-1 on the year, and it's off to Baltimore to see Morgan State coming up on Wednesday night. Yep, a tough uh, a tough road environment. Not the best Morgan State team in the last five years under Coach Bozeman, but a pretty good one. And you got to realize, and this is an important point Jim Christian made in our post game. not a lot of home games. So these MAC schools collect a lot of checks in December and November. Atmosphere should actually be pretty good.
Bobcat football takes on Kent State coming up on Tuesday night. We're black to the game. It's a blackout. Ohio has six wins. If you win out, you get to eight, and maybe a bowl is a possibility. Uh, but bottom line, Ohio football needs to play well to win over Kent State in a game that generally poses problems for the yeah, Cats. Kent's one of the few teams the Mac that sort of had Ohio's number during the solo chair. They'd really like to get that one this week. So we're on the air with Bobcat football coming up at 7 o'clock on Tuesday night from Peden for a kick at 8, week number 11 already. It's a 12-week season, so just two home games left. Then Bobcat basketball and Morgan State in Baltimore on Wednesday night. Our network here time on the radio network starts at 7 for a tip at 7.30. Thanks to Tony Yermain for his good work. Now for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. 76-72 the final. Ohio wins over Valparaiso. So long from the convo, this is Bobcat TV.